There is a new Playwright MCP Chrome extension. I'm going to show you how you can integrate it with your favorite agent. In my case, I'll be using Cursor, but the same configuration, it's going to work in Cloud and VS Code and so on. So let's take a look. This extension is useful because of this. Let's read together. It is an extension that is going to allow you to connect to pages in your existing browser. It means that we can interact with websites where you are already logged in using your existing cookies, sessions, and browser state, providing a seamless experience without requiring separate authentication or setup. All right? I think you get the idea now. So let's see how we can install it and start using it with some real scenarios. The installation is so easy. Let me show you that. The prerequisite is to have Chrome Edge or any other Chromium browser so you can handle this installation using those browsers, okay? Then we need to download the extension from this particular uh, rep repository or uh, actually release, okay? So you come here and you look for the Playwright MCP extension. In this case, at the moment that I'm recording the video, this is the version 0.0.36, that's zip. So you download it, and it is gonna be well located probably in your downloads folder, right? Let me show you this. For instance, downloads, and this is gonna be the zip file. You need to unzip it, all right? So you unzip it, and then you can continue with the next step, okay? Let's go back to the documentation and let's read the following steps. The first one is open Chrome and navigate to this particular kind of route, okay? So I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it in my browser and you can see that I'm here. Then you need to activate the developer mode over here. This is important because if you don't activate it, it is not gonna work, okay? You activate it and then you can click on this button here, load unpacked, okay? You click on that and then you go to your downloads, select the folder and you select it. And there it is. Now you have a new extension here as, well, it is ready for use. Actually, just make sure that it is activated here and that's it. It is gonna be running for you automatically. Okay, now that we have this in place, if we see more of the documentation, I think that's basically it. And now we need to configure the Playwright MCP server. All right, um, I'll be using Cursor as I'm telling you, but it is gonna work in, in different agents and different tools. But let me grab Cursor here. And well, where you can find this configuration, it is under Cursor settings, uh, Cursor settings, and look your MCP and integrations. And well, in my case, I already had Playwright MCP integrated. So I just click on this edit button and you just need to add this particular extension flag uh, in your arguments, all right? So as you can see, it's a, a kind of an array and we have a couple of values inside. The first one is the the well, the, the MCP configuration and then an extension, as you can see in the official documentation as well, all right? I'm not inventing anything, <laughs> all right? now. We're ready to continue. Let's see how we can take advantage of this configuration in a couple of scenarios. Okay, masters, here we have a demo site where we can log in, all right? I'll be using a test username and a test password, okay? And you're gonna see that I'll be logged in immediately. And I have this welcome test message or button here. I can actually uh, click on log out if I want to. But my point with this is that I want to use the Playwright MCP server and confirm that I can continue navigating in the chat using this uh, already logged in session, you know? So I'll be opening cursor here, okay? And I'll create a new chat over here and I'll start typing some stuff here. So I want to let him know that I want to navigate, navigate to the website using the Playwright MCP server, right? And go and, and then go to the card section. Okay. So it is gonna start the execution, right? Let's see if it works or not. <laughs> well, it is gonna start the execution, and actually, I can. Uh, you can see this particular screen. It is gonna start the M Playwright MCP connection. I just need to click on allow, and as you can see now, it is just, it is controlled by the agent basically, you know. And you can see that now I am on the card website because that's what the agent is doing. So I don't, I don't need to do the logging process with the agent itself. I just need to connect 
the Playwright MCP server with this extension and I can start working with this, okay? So this is the first useful case that I see. And well, just to prove that this is working, let me uh, ask this agent to navigate to GitHub with the Playwright MCP server. And since you are already logged in, please visit the profile, okay? All right, so it is gonna start the execution, hopefully. <laughs> and you can see that it is gonna start navigating to GitHub. I am already logged in, because this is my profile. And as you can see, well, it is gonna start clicking on my profile, probably. Let's and let's see what is happening. Perfect, the user navigation menu is now open, and I can see the profile option. You can read it over here, okay? And then, all right, it is planning the next moves and probably I am already in my profile in GitHub. All right, so masters, as you can see, I think this is pretty powerful. This is gonna allow you to, well, be more productive with the Playwright MCP server for testing or other duties. So I hope that you enjoy it. It was a short video, but I hope that you enjoy it and please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos in your media. Thank you very much for watching until this point. See you in the next one, bye-bye.